Hi guys, today we're going to see how to create an online auction with our Yeet Auctions for WooCommerce plugin. With this plugin, you can create normal or reverse auctions, you can set a starting price to begin the auction, or you can add a buy now button so that customers can buy the product without going through the bidding process. Before we get into it, let me remind you of course to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now let's get to it. Okay, so this is my site. I sell replicas here of famous paintings and I'm going to add my first auction here. Okay, I'm going to create a product that is going to be one of those paintings or auction. So the first thing I have to do is activate the plugin. I have already installed the plugin in my site. I just need to activate it. So let's go over to the dashboard to plugins and I'm going to look for my auctions plugin here. Activate. Great. So my plugin is active now. Let's go over to products at new to create that new auction. So we'll begin by adding the name to the product. It's going to be called replica of the screen by Munch. And then we're going to add an image here. There. So now the most important part of this auction type product, we need to configure this as an auction. So in the product data tab, we're going to expand here and click on auction. This updated the options that we had here. Let's see what they are. The first option, item condition, refers to the condition in which the product will be handed over to the auction winner. You see here we have examples like new, used, damaged. I'm just going to add new. So these will be visible in the products page. I'll show you that in a couple of minutes. Next, we have two auction types. We have a normal and reverse. In a normal auction, I, the admin, will set a starting price to begin the auction. So this will be, for example, $50, and then every bidder will make a higher offer every time. So it's 50, 55, 60, 65. But in a reverse auction, I will set a starting price of, let's say, $100, and bidders will offer lower amounts every time to bring down the price of the auction. So if I set this to $100 for a starting price, the following bidder can offer 95 and then 90, 85, 80 and so on. For this replica, I'm just going to create a normal auction type. Then we have an option to make this a sealed auction. This would hide the offers so bidders wouldn't know how much has been offered so far. We're not going to enable this. Then we do have the option to set a starting price here. I'm going to set this to $300. So the auction has to start off from $300. It cannot begin with a lower offer. If a bidder tries to enter $50, he will see an error message. Now, in the following option, we can define a minimum increment amount. What is this? Let's say we define a minimum increment amount of $15. This means that every time a new offer is made, they have to add at least $50 to the previous offer. So I have this starting price $300. The next bidder needs to offer at least $315. If he does that, then the following bidder has to offer at least $330 and so on. They need to increase the offer in at least $15. Then we have the reserve price. This is the minimum price that I'm willing to sell this product for. I'm going to set this to $750. This means that if the bids are lower than this, there won't be any winners. No one will be able to take that product because the minimum amount I am looking to get wasn't met. On the other hand, since the reservation price is not shown in the product page, a bidder could offer $900 without knowing that the reservation price is lower than that. So if that happens, I would receive more than what I aimed to receive. Then we have the show buy now button. We can enable this and add a buy now button to the product page 
This way, a customer can simply buy the product instead of going through all the bidding process. By enabling this option, I get this new field where I can enter the purchase price to buy now and skip the auction. Let's set this at $800. Then we have this last option that refers to the beginning and ending dates of the auction. I'll begin the auction today. It even has the time and I'll finish the auction a week from today. So now the auction for the replica of the screen is completed and ready to be published. So let's do it here, publish. And let's go see that product page. Great. So here is my product image, the name replica of the screen by Munch. Here you see this little icon that means that this is an auction. The current bid, which is the starting price, is $300. I have one in stock. Here is the condition. That's the first thing that I said on the product page. The condition, which is new. You can add anything here. Used, damaged, sealed, anything. Then we have a countdown right here showing you the time left for the auction to end. Here it says when it's going to end. As I said before, it even has the time. Here it says that the product has a reserve price, but it doesn't say how much it is. Here you can make the bid. Here's the buy now button. In case you don't want to go through the auction, you can just buy here. And here, as I said, I can make an offer. 310 bid. And here you can see the record for this auction. Let me go back and add a minimum increment amount of 15. Let's update this back to the product. Okay, so the last bid was 310. I'm going to refresh. Since I have just added a minimum increased amount of $15, here it says that I need to enter 325 or more because the current bid is $310. So if I tried to add 320, I get this message. Enter 325 or more to be able to bid. Okay guys, so that's how you can create an online auction with our plugin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.